Hello everyone, hope you're doing fine. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can switch uh, in uh, drop down menu in order to change the background color uh, using switch statement in C sharp. So let's start. So before doing anything go to your main camera and go to clear flag and make sure that you have selected solid color and change the background color to something like white okay the next thing we need to do is to create a ui drop down menu so if you go to game uh, views you can see that the uh, drop down menu is in that we have created is in the center of our game view so you want to move it uh, here so um, while you have selected the drop down menu you can select the conquer press alt and shift and then select this it will be moved upper here okay now before we proceed and do anything let's run the game and here you can see the default options which unity creates when you create the drop down menu so we want to change them so for that reason go to drop down and you can see these options you can uh, delete the, the one that you don't want or you can add more options but the first one we want to make it select a color and uh, since our um, like uh, goal is to change the background color we have to uh, we will name the color name so we want we, we will add just three options but you can add more so the first one can be red the second one can be blue and one more option can be green okay uh, another uh, the the last the sec the third thing that we need to do is to create a C sharp script and uh, name it change background color. Okay, let's run this. Um, let's open this script. Okay, here uh, we don't need the start, but we need uh, to add two public variables. The first one will be to attach the camera, so it will be a public camera cam and the second one is our drop down menu that we have to attach to in order to get the value of that we select during the game so for that reason we need to add the name space for user interfaces otherwise it is not added to our script so now we have access to all the user in user interface uh, name spaces like variables or a game objects so we can write public drop down uh, my drop down okay semicolon so since i said that we are going to use switch now i will describe how we can use the switch statement so uh, first you have to write switch and uh, then open this and close it and then the closure and um, inside the switch we have to write the cases but before that we need to uh, get something um, um, the unity wants to know c sharp actually wants to know what do you want to switch between like do you want to switch from an integer to another integer or characters or strings so since it is uh, the value it is uh, we have to write my drop down dot value okay now save it and let's get back to unity select the drop down and here i want to show you that the first one's index is zero the second one uh, is one the third the third one is two and then the fourth one is three so zero one two three the case zero the case one the case two the case three so uh, let's get back to unity and now we have to write the cases case uh, one as i said the first one we don't need it the case one was red so we have to write if we have switched on case one we have to say the camera background color should be color dot red and then don't forget the break uh, 
okay uh, now we have to write other cases you can like copy these three times so you don't have to write it three times and then the second case and then the third case the second case was blue and the third case was green so we have added these three cases let's save our script and let's go to our uh, like a script okay now we have to attach this public um, camera and drop down to our script from here but for that reason we have to have a like controller or manager to create a manager we have can use this create empty game object and name it like drop down manager and then attach this here now you can see the public variables and you are allowed to attach the main camera to camera and attach the drop down to my drop down uh, okay you can save your scene i saved it as scene or you can save anything you want okay let's see if we don't have error we don't have error so let's run the game okay let's select red the background is red let's select green the background is green let's select blue and the background is blue, Ho blue. yeah uh, hope you understand how to use switches and drop down menus in unity thanks for watching bye